Ralph. He really drives me crazy. Especially this last time. Come on, Ralph. Sit at the ball, will ya? Take it easy. I'm my own sweet time. Come on, I... It all started one day last June when we were throwing the football away. I got it! I got it! I got it! I, I got it! I got it! I got it! Is he okay? Wow, I got it! Hey, you okay, Wellington? It was quite a spill you took. Yeah, I'm okay. I must have slammed it to that sign that says, Big Contest. Big Contest? Form a youth club with a public service project and win a chance for a one week at Camp Waka Wonka. Club membership must be open to all. Deadline for qualification, 5 p.m. Saturday, June 26th. So there it was. We had a chance to go to summer camp. Oh boy, swimming, boating, campouts, ghost stories by the campfire. Yeah, but note this deadline, 5 p.m. Saturday. That only gives us two days. Let's go down and apply right now, Oliver. Ralph, you have to qualify first. Qualify? Yes, it says so right here in the pamphlet. All we had to do was open our club to boys and girls of other races and religions. And we had to get involved in some kind of public service project. So the three of us talked about it all the way home. But our club is open all. Any white kid can join who wants to. Just doesn't mean white kids, Ralph. It means kids of all colors. Yeah, the club has to be open to people of any race sex, or creed, and girls, too. What? Dames, Jews, blacks in our club? Ralph, you're the world's youngest bigot. Look, I'm just trying to be practical. You go invite just anybody in our club, and there's no telling what might happen. We went through all this last year, Ralph. Remember, we started this club so we could win a trip to summer camp in the first place. But we didn't go. And I bought new swim trunks and everything. We didn't go because we didn't comply with the rules. You were in charge of getting some minorities and girls in the club, and you didn't get any, Ralph. Well, there weren't any around. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Connie. Connie. Hey, baby. Hi, guys. Are you sure you really looked hard for girls and blacks, Ralph? Sure I did. Hi! going to invite everyone to join our club. Yeah, but a guy won't do just for a chance to go to summer camp. So, even though Ralph wasn't too keen for it, we decided to enter the contest for summer camp. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're making signs. What for? Well, when you want people to join your club, you have to advertise. Anything I can do to help? Sure, you can help us post these signs. Uh, give them to me. I'll put them up for you. You know, old Ralph is trained out to be a pretty good club member after all. I guess he wants to go to summer camp pretty bad. I don't know, Wellington. Whenever he starts to cooperate with me, I begin to think I've done something wrong. Well, that job is done. Wow, you sure did that fast. Where'd you put those signs, Ralph? Over on Hazleton Drive. Hazleton Drive? What's wrong with that? That's an all-white neighborhood. No minorities will sense there. You have to advertise where they can see it or it doesn't count. Look, if minorities want to go to camp with us, let them pull themselves up by their bootstraps and come up to Hazleton Drive and read the signs. First, they have to know about the signs before they could read them, Ralph. First, we had a take them to lunch week. Now it's walk into their neighborhood and bring them to our club week. What's suburban purity coming to anyway? I don't know what it's coming to, Ralph, but I know where it's not going. It's not going to summer camp. Uh-oh, here come those two colored kids. Hi, Hi Randy. Randy. Hi, Hi Nipper. Nipper. Mm -hmm. You mind telling me what you have against black kids, Ralph? What I don't like about them? They have that code they won't let us in on. And as soon as you learn their slang, they change it on you. Oh, Ralph. How about Paul and Rocky? I can ask them to join. Oh, come on. You don't want them in our club, Wellington. Why not? You know how lazy Mexicans are. And Indians just can't hold their lemonade. And besides, Mexicans are always eating tacos. But yesterday over at Sweeney's, I saw you sit down and eat three tacos in a row. Well, uh, that's because I happen to like tacos. I suppose you don't want Jerry to join either. Well, you know he's Jewish, Oliver. He is? He doesn't look anything like Sammy Davis Jr. to me. 
If you don't have anything against Dorianos, maybe we can invite George to join, Ralph. Dorianos? Oh, they're just a big bunch of show-offs. Why can't they use a knife and a fork like everybody else? Ancient Chinese proverb. Man on bicycle, better speed rider than speed reader. Confucius? No, Charlie Chan. Okay, Ralph. Maybe you know some girls you'd like to recommend for membership. Girls? Are you kidding? All they do is nag and complain. And the lousiest sports... There's one thing I can't stand, it's a tomboy. We'll never qualify for summer camp unless we get some minorities and girls into this club, Ralph. So this time we agreed to post signs and distribute pamphlets at school where we really could reach the minorities and girls we needed to search out. Hey, this is great. Open the all. Open the all. Not so fast, Squirt. First, you have to pass a qualifying test. A qualifying test? Well, sure as a master would bring up barriers. Are you sure this test isn't just to keep us out because we're minorities? I'm not a minority. I'm a Democrat. Okay, Ralph. Let's have your test. That's the old competitive spirit, Rocky. Now, answer this question. What happened in the year 1492? Ah, that was the year my great-great-grandfather discovered old Chris Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. George, here's one for you. Do you know Lincoln's Gettysburg address? Gee, I didn't know he had moved. <laughs> Quiet, Nipper. I haven't recognized you yet. If he didn't recognize me, how come he knew my name? Your turn, Diz. Do you know the Constitution? No, ma'am. But if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. Ralph, you can't give these kids a dumb test like that. Wellington, unless you have some kind of test like this, you're gonna end up with all kinds of people in this club. But, Ralph, that's the whole idea. Well, I still don't like it. I think there should be two clubs open to all. Ours open to all of us, and theirs open to all of them. That way, nobody gets left out. So, even though Ralph didn't like the idea, we opened our club to all and added a lot of new members. Well, we officially got a club. Now we need a name for it. How about the summer campers? Or senior citizens? Oh, that just doesn't make a baby. We need a name that sings some swings, doo Right on! I was thinking, we're all different colors here, right? Yeah, like the colors in the rainbow. What about that, Nipper? The Rainbow Club. Yeah, the Rainbow Club. The Rainbow Club! Yeah! 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 Now that we have formed a club, does anybody know what we should do first? The first thing we should do is select a leader. What do we need a leader for? Someone has to set our goals, coordinate our activities, and resolve our problems. Problem? What problem? Ralph! He's our problem! Well, in that case, I nominate Oliver as the leader. He seems to know Ralph better than any of us. Welcome to the club, guys! Uh, thank you very much! <laughs> okay, all in favor of Oliver, raise your hand. <laughs> then it's official! Oliver's elected! The first thing we did was agree on a constitution that guarantees that our club is open to all. Connie said that we should contact Charlotte. Hi. Rocky and Jerry were appointed to be on a committee to set up goals and think up some community projects for our club to do. Later, Connie brought Charlotte to the meeting and introduced her. Of course, Ralph said that she shouldn't belong to the club because she couldn't keep up with the rest of us. Ah! Welcome to the club, Charlotte. George. Why don't you pause and notify the mayor's office of our club and let him know that we've met all the requirements. Okay, leader. Then we finished up our business by voting on our public service project. We decided to clean up the vacant lot on Maple Street where everybody was dumping trash. This place is filthy. It really does need to be cleaned up. You know, I'm kind of glad we love girls in love. They can make the lemonade for us. Not on your beanbag, buddy. The girls are full participants in this club, Ralph, and as such, they'll do the same work that we do. When will we start cleaning up the lot? Don't forget, my mom won't let me out after dinner. We'd better start real early in the morning if we're going to make the deadline tomorrow at 5 p.m. Oh, there's one more thing. 
We should notify the mayor's office that we have decided on our public service project. So, we all made the lot the next morning bright and early. I was so excited I didn't sleep all night, waiting for the day to get started. Did you know it stays dark all the way past night? Okay, gang, we're all ready for the cleanup. Let's go for it. Before long, we really started making headway on the lot. Come on, guys, it's 10 o'clock already. We've only got seven hours to get this mess cleaned up. Boy, that wow is really something else. I never, never need me help. <laughs> Right on, Charlotte Davies. I know my. <laughs> what was that Ralph said about Charlotte not being able to keep up? Uh-oh. Eat your heart out, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. <laughs> Bravo, Polly! What do you think you're doing standing around, Oliver? But I'm the leader, Connie. Oh, really, Oliver? Tell me. Did you get where you are through hard work or genius? Nick, I'll help you. Here. Here you don't need me. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, you kids better get moving. It's one o'clock already. Who's that? Oh, she's from the mayor's office. She gives us the okay that we have completed our project before the 5 p.m. deadline. Wow, it's two o'clock already. I'm sure glad we got these new kids into the club. Oh, I wouldn't expect any worse new kids. A bunch of show-offs. Who are they trying to prove anyway? That they're better than us? It's three o'clock, kids. You'd better hurry up if you're gonna meet that five o'clock headline. It's four o'clock, one hour to go. Hey, what's this? Huh? Old Man River. Old Man River, that old man river. He must know something. He don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling. He just keeps rolling along. a real fine job on your community project this year. We'll announce the winner in just 20 minutes. Drop that car, flip that bitch. You're a little drunk. Can you land in jail? Come on, kids, it's 445. You and me on Twitter and Green. Body all aching and rag with me. Mr. Mayor, uh, there's still 10 minutes before the deadline, but it looks like everybody's here. Uh, we may as well announce the winner now. Hmm. Well, maybe you're right. I get weary and sick of trying. Come on, you guys. Time's running out. Put all men around. You just keep goofing You've only got five minutes to get this completion slip to the mayor at the park. So you better step on it. This year, several clubs complied with the rules and went a trip to summer camp. So the winners of the summer camp contest are... <coughs> the Wolverines!
Lawrence. It just died, Mr. Mayor. Oh, good. <clears throat> and the final winner is... The Rainbow Club! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> so the Rainbow Club got to go to summer camp. Even in spite of Rob. Say, Randy, where is Rob? I haven't seen him all day. Oh, he's been such a pest with this whole operation. We decided to make him sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> Like I always said, some of my best friends and... Unless you have some kind of test like this, you're gonna end up with all kinds of people in this club. But Ralph, that's the whole idea.